Have you ever wondered if the universe, in its deepest recesses, is governed by an exquisite mathematical structure? This question has been the bedrock of our quest for understanding the cosmos. The universe, as we've come to understand it, is not a chaotic assemblage of matter and energy, but a harmonious dance choreographed by the laws of physics. At the heart of this cosmic ballet is the standard model of particle physics, a theory that has been spectacularly successful in describing the fundamental particles and forces that make up our universe. Yet, while the standard model is an incredible achievement, it's not without its limitations. It doesn't incorporate gravity, for instance, and it leaves dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up about 27% of the universe, completely unexplained. In the face of such enigmas, scientists have been prompted to dig deeper. They've begun to explore the idea that beneath the surface of our known physics, there may be more profound mathematical structures at play. This is not a wild speculation, but a pursuit guided by a combination of intuition, mathematical elegance, and the timeless ambition to uncover the true nature of the universe. One individual who has been at the forefront of this exploration is theoretical physicist James Gates. Gates has been investigating the presence of what he describes as codes within the equations of physics. These aren't codes in the sense of secret messages, but structures that resemble error-correcting codes used in computer science. The existence of such codes in the fundamental equations of the universe could point to a deeper layer of reality, a layer that we're only just beginning to scratch. This quest for understanding has led us to a fascinating hypothesis, supersymmetry. The idea that for every particle we know, there might exist a superpartner, a mirror image with different properties. This is not just a beautiful concept, but a potential key to unlock the hidden mathematical structures of the universe, leading us closer to a more unified understanding of the cosmos. James Gates, a theoretical physicist, embarked on a journey to explore the presence of codes within the equations of physics. Delving into the realms of supersymmetry and superstring theory, Gates probed the intricate mathematical universe in search of a deeper understanding. His work led him to an astonishing discovery, error-correcting codes hidden within the equations of superstrings. If you're wondering what these codes are, think of them as the safeguards in the digital world. They're algorithms that detect and correct errors in data transmission, helping to maintain the integrity of information. Surprisingly, Gates found these codes embedded within the fundamental equations that describe our universe. But what does this mean? How do these codes connect to the fundamental laws of physics? Well, the presence of these codes suggests an inherent error correction mechanism at the heart of the universe. This could mean that the universe itself might be constructed in a way that it self-corrects, ensuring its equations always hold true. These findings could also hint at a deeper layer of reality, one that is intricately tied to the mathematical structures we use to describe the world. They might even provide us with a glimpse into the very fabric of the universe, a fabric woven with mathematical threads. However, it's important to tread carefully. While the discovery of these codes is fascinating, their interpretation is far from straightforward. The presence of error-correcting codes doesn't necessarily mean that the universe is a giant computer churning away at calculations. Nor does it mean that our reality is a digital simulation, as some might suggest. These codes could be mere mathematical artifacts, byproducts of the complex equations we use, or they could represent something more profound, a new layer of reality waiting to be uncovered. It's a tantalizing mystery, one that has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. However, it's crucial to consider the limitations of interpreting these codes as literal computer code for the universe. The search for superpartners is a crucial part of testing the implications of Gates's findings. Yes, you heard it right. The quest to detect these elusive entities, the superpartners, is not just an intellectual exercise. It's a pathway to potentially validating or refuting the profound insights of James Gates and the idea of supersymmetry. Now let's delve a bit deeper into this. 
Superpartners are expected to exist according to the theory of supersymmetry. They are the hypothetical counterparts to the particles we're already familiar with in the standard model of particle physics. If these superpartners do exist, their detection could lend significant support to the supersymmetry hypothesis and, by extension, the mathematical codes Gates discovered in superstring equations. But how do we go about finding these elusive superpartners? Well, that's where particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider come into play. These behemoth machines are designed to smash particles together at nearly the speed of light, creating an array of exotic particles in the aftermath. If superpartners are real, they should emerge in these high-energy collisions. The caveat here is that these superpartners, if they exist, are expected to be quite heavy, possibly beyond the reach of our current accelerators. This is where future, more powerful colliders come into the picture. Projects like the proposed Future Circular Collider could potentially reach energy levels high enough to produce these superpartners, these experimental searches are not only about finding new particles, they are about testing the very fabric of our understanding of the universe. They are about probing deeper into the mathematical structure that underlies everything we see around us. And what if we do find these super partners? Well, that would indeed be a game changer. It would not only lend credence to the supersymmetry hypothesis, but also potentially validate the intriguing findings of Gates. It could suggest that the universe is indeed underpinned by a deeper, symmetrical mathematical structure, just as Gates's findings hint at. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. As with all things in science, we must remain cautious and open to all possibilities. These experimental searches could potentially reveal more about the universe's underlying structure. But for now, the search continues, and the universe keeps its secrets well guarded. The advantages of supersymmetry are not to be overlooked. As the theory boldly suggests, every known particle in the universe has a yet undiscovered partner, a superpartner, if you will. This simple yet profound idea could potentially fill the gaps in our current understanding of the universe. One of the key advantages of supersymmetry, or SUSY, is its potential to unify the fundamental forces of nature. Currently, our understanding of these forces is divided into two incompatible theories. General relativity, which describes gravity, and quantum mechanics, which describes the other three forces, electromagnetism and the weak and strong nuclear forces. SUSY, however, proposes a framework that can harmonize these disparate theories into a single unified field theory. Imagine the elegance of such a theory, where all the fundamental forces are different aspects of the same entity. And let's not forget the mysterious dark matter. Current observations suggest that about 85% of the matter in the universe is dark matter, which we can't see or directly detect. Intriguingly, the lightest superpartner in SUSY, often referred to as the neutralino, is a prime candidate for dark matter. If true, Susie could provide a concrete identity for this elusive substance. Now let's turn to the work of James Gates. He found what appear to be error-correcting codes within the equations of superstring theory, a theory closely related to Susie. These codes are akin to those used in modern computing to prevent errors in data transmission. If Susie is a valid theory, it could provide a framework for understanding these codes. Could these codes be an intrinsic part of the universe's DNA, its fundamental laws? The possibility is tantalizing. However, it's important to remember that these are only potential advantages. As yet, there's no definitive experimental evidence for SUSY. The search for superpartners continues, and the interpretation of Gates's codes is still a matter of debate. Supersymmetry, combined with Gates's insights, could potentially offer a deeper understanding of the universe. The quest for understanding the universe's underlying structure continues, and Susie is one of the promising candidates leading the charge. Despite the potential advantages, supersymmetry is not without its challenges. The biggest of these challenges is perhaps the lack of experimental evidence for superpartners. In the world of physics, theories are only as good as the evidence that backs them up. So far, the Large Hadron Collider, 
one of our most powerful tools for probing the subatomic world, has yet to detect these elusive superpartners. This lack of evidence also impacts the interpretation of James Gates's findings. Gates's work on error-correcting codes within superstring equations is indeed intriguing. However, if supersymmetry is not correct, then it's possible that these codes may not be as significant as we might think. This brings us to another challenge, the existence of alternative explanations for these codes. Physics is a field ripe with competing theories, each offering its own unique perspective on the workings of the universe. It's possible that these codes could be a product of another, yet undiscovered mathematical structure underlying the universe, one that doesn't necessarily involve supersymmetry. Furthermore, it's worth noting that the codes found by Gates are not definitive proof of a computer-like structure to the universe. They could simply be an artifact of the mathematical language used to describe physical phenomena. As with any scientific discovery, it's crucial to approach these findings with an open mind while also maintaining a healthy dose of skepticism. In the end, the challenges facing supersymmetry serve as a reminder that science is a process of constant refinement and revision. Theories rise and fall based on the weight of the evidence that supports them, and while supersymmetry offers a tantalizing glimpse at a potential deeper structure to the universe, it remains just that, a glimpse. The lack of experimental evidence adds an element of uncertainty to the supersymmetry hypothesis. Yet, this uncertainty is not a roadblock, but rather a driving force that propels us forward in our quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. The exploration of the universe's underlying structure is far from over. As we journey through the vast landscape of theoretical physics, we find ourselves continually drawn back to the enigmatic work of James Gates. His intriguing discovery of what appear to be error-correcting codes within the equations of superstring theory has set the scientific world abuzz. Could these codes hold the key to a deeper understanding of the universe? Or are they simply mathematical curiosities, devoid of physical significance? The quest for understanding is twofold. On one hand, we have the theoretical development, the painstaking work of formulating and refining mathematical models that attempt to capture the essence of the universe's underlying structure. This is where Gates's work comes into play. His findings have stimulated new thought and exploration in the realm of fundamental physics, sparking debates and inspiring further research. On the other hand, we have the experimental searches. The hunt for superpartners, for instance, could provide critical tests for the implications of Gates's findings. Future, more powerful colliders might even uncover deeper connections shedding light on the tantalizing codes found in the equations of superstring theory. Yet, we must tread cautiously. The interpretation of these codes as literal computer code for the universe is fraught with limitations. Similarly, the lack of experimental evidence for superpartners casts a shadow over the supersymmetry hypothesis. Alternative explanations for the codes observed by Gates may yet emerge ones that don't necessarily involve supersymmetry. The work of James Gates serves as a poignant reminder that the quest for understanding the universe's underlying structure is a dynamic, ongoing process. His findings, while preliminary and open to interpretation, have opened new avenues of thought and exploration. As we continue our search for a deeper understanding of the universe, we must remember that the most exciting discoveries often lie just beyond our current understanding.